Right, welcome back. We are looking at the political violence and killings in Kerala, the cycle of violence that just seems to carry on endlessly. Now, a 30-year-old youth congress activist has been killed in Kanur. A country-made bomb was thrown at him and then he was attacked with sharp weapons. There were two other youth congress activists who've been injured in the attack. Police sources have said... Uh, of course, yet to be confirmed, but uh, uh, police sources are saying that they suspect the CPM to be behind this attack. Now, why are these attacks carrying on endlessly? Where is the failure? That's what we're looking at today. And is this just going to rise uh, from here on? All that uh, is what we are discussing with our panel. Let me introduce right away uh, Dev Ratan Nigam of uh, the RSS thing on for this. Shama Mohammed of the Congress is also joining us in studio. Rahul, her uh, activist, is with us, as is uh, Fuad Halim of the CPM. Thanks all so much for your time. Uh, Fahad Halim, let me start by asking you, police sources saying that they suspect CPM activists to be behind this killing. Now, yet more bloodshed, more violence, and a 30-year-old has died. I know that the CPM officially has said that they don't believe from what they are hearing that they had any role to play in this, but the cycle carries on endlessly. Wouldn't you say this is now indefensible? Well, it's very clear that any loss of life needs to be condoled and no loss of life, especially a young life, is something that is uh, unacceptable. <clears throat> the, the state government in Kerala will allow the law to take its course. The investigation will definitely establish as who is culpable and the people who are culpable should be brought to book. There is no two ways about that as the state government is led by the CPM and that is the commitment of the CPM to the people of uh, Kerala mm. and towards the uh, uh, law and order uh, situation in Kerala. Mm. And uh, political violence uh, is uh, something that uh, ultimately takes lives and that's the unfortunate uh, what you call uh, central issue that we are discussing today. The law has to take its course. There's no two ways but about it. But to all those saying... And uh, the unfortunate part of this is that uh, 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 as far as... Uh, Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt there. I was just saying that for all those sake, this is a failure of, of, of the state government time and time again. This is a complete failure of law and order. So why, why does it, with whom does the buck stop? Why is there no action really on this? Where's the accountability? No, the action has been taken promptly. If you see uh, whatever political, uh, whenever a political, uh, what you call related murder has taken place or allegedly a politically, uh, uh, a political activist has been involved in any sort of violence, the state government has moved very swiftly and uh, the swiftness of the uh, state government cannot be brought to question. We've seen that in, in incident after incident mm -hmm. and, and that's something that I think so uh, sets Kerala apart from the other states uh, in India. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, having said that, there is no accolade in, in uh, trying to say that uh, the state government is acti acting efficiently. One needs to understand that the Why language of violence has right. to be removed from the political discourse of India and uh, in Kerala also. I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that. But Shama, come in at this stage. Uh, for Ali making the point that you know we we, we always act uh, swiftly. There's always action taken when there is uh, sort of enough proof of uh, wrongdoing on their part. Is that enough? See, I would call this first a state-sponsored legalized murder, what happened. This boy, Shweb, has been doing a lot of good work in Payanur area, Matanur, mm. and he's been uh, doing a lot of social work, and a couple of the CPM leader's sons are attending his meeting. Mm. Two weeks ago, in front of everybody, they said, the CPM cadres, that your days are numbered. Mm. You know, your days are numbered. Mm. And you know, how do they kill? They first throw a bomb, they come with swords. It's not one cut or two cuts. Mm. It will be 36 cuts. These are butchers. These are terrorists. These can't be normal human beings who keep doing this. And if you go back and see now, there have been more than 12 murders mm. from 2016 onwards. Mm. And none of them, there has been conviction. Okay. None of them has gone through the trial court. Mm. It just keeps happening. Mm. Now, when we were in power, and, and the thing is, they keep lying and saying, you know what? No, nobody is involved from the CPM. This is a trick. They keep lying, 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 and they think people will believe it. It has to stop. And we have to understand it's their government in power. Now, if you look at this demograph, this paper I have out here, mm -hmm. and the red is whenever the CPM is in power. Mm -hmm. And the blue is when the 
Congress party is being power. And you can see that the number of murders during our time, because we control it. We, we see to it that convictions happen. For example, in 2012, Chandrasekhar, uh, the, he was part of the CPM. He moved and he made his own party called the Marxist Party, Progressive Marxist Party. He was killed, he was murdered by them and 56 cuts on his body. Okay. But we saw to it that 11 people got convicted okay. and they are in prison, I'm life gonna, imprisonment. I'm going to just get for to respond to that. Would you like to respond to that? It's not enough to say that we take action against people. What about the conviction rates? Uh, also holding up a, and lying. a, a graphic. I think that's from Indian Express. If, if, yes, if of course. I, it's not from any other paper. And I can tell you the highest murder happened in 2008-12. Okay. 2000 is 9 and 2003 when the Congress party was uh, the UDF was in power no murders so okay. whenever you know they do they do it and they keep lying that's the worst part you know none okay. of them are in let him respond to that let him respond to that part quickly before I bring everybody else in yeah <clears throat> No, I, I, I don't want to go into a competitive, uh, what you call, mm. comparison of, of deaths. But one has to keep in mind that at this point of time in Kerala, the party that has lo lost the largest number of cadres is the CPIM. Mm -hmm. So I'll just leave it at that, that okay. because our party has lost the largest Absolutely. number of cadres to political violence and mm -hmm. that is the statistics on the ground. Mm -hmm. but, but this is not an issue of, of, of spe speaking in, in, in a competitive, what you call, voice as to how many deaths we've had, you, you had I think so the effort the entire effort should be as how how quickly we can close the cycle of violence okay. and all but is, is so enough work doing then, it, is the enough work being done in that direction of course, and, and that is what of our course state every killing is irrespective of which party workers are dying is equally horrific 250 people have died in the last three decades uh, I want to bring uh, Mr. Nigam in there are all those of course who are saying that this is a battle for political supremacy whether it's uh, RSS Carter dying uh, Congress workers or uh, uh, the CPM workers, nobody wants to put an end uh, to this kind of violence because it creates a, a fear psychosis. See, let me, one thing is very, very well established and it's an admitted fact that there is a very poor law and order situation in Kerala. Mm -hmm. The number of murders clearly established that mm -hmm. and uh, more than 120 BJP RSS workers have been killed mm -hmm. and uh, political battles have to be fought in political field, mm -hmm. not like this. Mm -hmm. And this has to stop. Mm -hmm. And the state government has to ensure that their CPM cadres are not encouraged. Mm -hmm. Because, see, if there is a... I mean, I hate to play this kind of competitive uh, of sort of see, politics over murders, but again, the point that Fawad is making that they've lost just vast numbers so of So therefore, of it is their well. responsibility as well, mm -hmm. being the head of the, uh, I mean, ruling party there, they have to control the situation mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. And secondly, let me tell you, if they have been there for a long time, mm -hmm people are trying to politically change that system. Mm -hmm. Our uh, BJP is trying to change that political system. Mm -hmm. Whenever there is a change in the status quo. So the BJP is trying to get a toehold in. Two I mean, hold, not, 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 not really radically change the system. No, but toehold, and they have. See, in okay. terms of uh, percentage of votes, they have increased. Which has, right. Now, yeah. when the status quo changes, mm -hmm. the people who are there in power, they mm -hmm. feel very disturbed. Okay. In order to counter that, okay. such things happen. And mm -hmm. this happens under the patronage of the existing government. Okay, I'm going to, I know for I want to respond, you, I'll get you in, but you wanted to make a point. Uh, yeah, so he, he says... And nobody's really no, innocent no, so in this. I mean, no, no, no nobody's, so uh, there's, no, there, I'm just going to take, violence, I'm just going to take created. another case over the CPIM called Dhanraj in 2011, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. the RSS workers got into his house, mm -hmm. murdered him again with swords in mm -hmm. front of his wife and his 15-year-old son. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I'm trying to say I is... I think we, that is not mm -hmm. yet, no, you are presuming no, certain no, things. But it is the truth, it is the truth, no, no. Truth, the court will find out the truth. Let me not... Let me also tell one more thing and Ramesh Chanitala, the leader mm -hmm. of opposition today clearly said I do not want we do not want to see any retaliation. Mm -hmm. So if you really want peace in Kerala and there is no breakdown of law and order, I'm from mm -hmm. Karnur. Mm -hmm. It's only political murders mm -hmm. which has have been happening for years. Mm -hmm. That I agree with you. Okay. But any other murders, you know, general things, it's not that there's a breakdown of law and order. Okay. I visit that place every month. Okay. And also I, I would like to put into point is that if you want peace, if you want development, like mm -hmm. you say, you need or sukoon or shanti, you need the Congress party. Because okay. we are not into this sort of murders. Okay. This is the, they are the same side. Uh, they are the two sides of the same coin, okay. RSS and the CPI. Okay. Okay. Well, I think it is hurting Quick, them because point. it has come to okay. their doorstep No, because now. our leader, uh, the now boy RSS was very popular. Mm -hmm. Now it has come to their no, doorstep, our, our, it is hurting them. <laughs> they, every you, you, spokesperson was singing a different mm -hmm. tune. 
about uh, till yesterday. Hmm. Now their entire strategy. What is that strategy? Changed. We have said not to retaliate. We, okay. we do not retaliate. That was what is told because we do not believe were, killing the other person is the in, right thing. You were always in hand in gloves with the communists. See, you Today, have for had the first time you have come against when it has come to oh. your doorstep. No, no, no. It, we are a hand in glove against the communists, and we are hand in glove against the. Uh, we are against you your RSS. All right. We, CPM, no, 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 no. We are CPM. against and, against and, and both they, of them. They, they All right. I you. think. Okay. They provide you with intellectual You are backup. upset yeah. because there are 4,500 shakas and they have not come to power. Okay. That's the reason. Yes, of we course. We are only present in Kerala. Okay, you are only just... present but you are one MLA for years. Okay, okay. Everyone is speaking on top of I'm, I'm sorry. Just, I, let's get Rahul Ishwarin. Let's get, I know Fuad wants to respond but let's get Rahul Ishwarin. He's been waiting patiently. Yes, go ahead. If I can add a point. See. Yeah, yeah. By all means. <laughs> So that we end of things to happen. There is no violent politics in Kerala. That's a given and that's a reality. And it's high time we take some measures to curb it. And with all great respect to Father Lim Sahib, you know, I really respect him as a very gentlemanly debater. But the, at the same point of time, Sri Pinarayi Vijayan is a very strong CM. If he really wills, he can really curtail. And with all respect to Communist Party, unfortunately, Communist Party uh, has not discouraged actively this whole political violence culture. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately north of state, it's a reality. And I wouldn't use any extreme thing. And uh, no, like the person from Congress said, they had 51 cuts on TP Chandrasekharan and they said it is by a vehicle which had in Okay, no, no. I, I think I got your point there. What come in here, party workers seem to have turned into killing machines, really, for want of another word. I wanted to come in on the question that I asked earlier, that is there really no political will cutting across party lines to put an end to this? Because this, sir, this brings dividends. Unfortunately, it seems to be true. Well, uh, <clears throat> let, let, let's be very clear, you know, uh, since uh, the Communist Party of India, Marxist, has been at the receiving end of the political violence, and mm -hmm. since we have been losing the largest number of cadres mm -hmm. in in the political violence that has been uh, what that has uh, uh, expressed itself in Kerala, mm -hmm. we we definitely have a, a, a reason and a commitment because mm -hmm. we are the party that's losing the largest number of cadres. If you look at the incident that took place in July, Comrade Pinari Vijayan immediately invited the BJP state president and the RSS leadership. He sat down and and they came to an understanding. Understanding that understanding why the BJP and but the RSS last really long. That was a fragile on, on piece. That that, that barely as, as lasted. As far as the political murders are concerned, mm -hmm. we we know after that that that's that that's that's. that's that's the question, you know, from uh, from the side of the Communist Party and and the leadership of the state administration. I think so. The efforts are, are there for everybody to see. Mm -hmm. If there is an incident, the state moves swiftly. In fact, if you look at the uh, uh, incidents that's taken place last year, mm -hmm. the state has moved exceptionally swiftly. There have been arrests within 48 hours of those who have been named in the FIR by the family members asking, what about of the, of the uh, victims. So I, I think so. The state it's government expresses its intention okay. by swift action. And, and the conviction of trying to resolve it, I think so. We need the political culture uh, needs to be uh, what you call understood. You know, the chief minister has, uh, he has been sitting with the opposition leaders whenever such incidences have come out. He wants to sit with them whenever these incidents but are why? not there on the table. All right, also. all right. But there has I think that, that I think that to Mr. Nigam, I think that to Mr. Nigam, why is that at not leading results? Day, when the, the chief minister no, the reached the day, out the and there were meetings with is, the RSS, he is losing the largest number of cadres on the ground. Okay, then the BJP made headlines, but. Let but me, why let, has it not lasted? Let me respond hmm. to the spokesperson of CPIM. Hmm. His entire narrative admits that there has been a failure of law and order on their part. Hmm. It is a great failure on their part and there is a clear admission on his part that they have failed. Hmm. Once the state's but law... But should everyone be restraining yes, their order or not, Yes, sir? yes, yes. Yeah. It is everybody's responsibility. Hmm. Do you believe that's happening? Yes. It is happening, at least from the RSS side, it is happening. Mm -hmm. And when you misuse the state machinery, when the police is a mute spectator, mm -hmm. what do you expect? You can only expect such murders taking place. Mm -hmm. They have to take responsibility categorically on this on this show mm -hmm. that they have failed miserably and they have actually admitted on this show mm -hmm. that it is their failure mm -hmm. in governance. Okay, okay Shama, I'll give you the last word on, so on this. Me, you know, I know that you said that we've asked them not see, to retaliate, to, but do you believe yes. that? No, we were, you know, and two points in this. You have to understand. I'm just going to give you the because names. Actually, do speak louder than words. No, we all we do not normally retaliate. Right. We are not into these murders. In right. 2016, mm -hmm. the names of the CPM 
uh, people who have died are Ravindran, Dhanraj, Mohanan, and they're all Hindus. So mm -hmm. one thing I want to make about the RSS is clear is Hindus are dying. Even they keep it saying that Hindus are killed. Hindu. So that's it, one point. And, swim, and, so that's being and no, but that's what Hindu. you say. But that is, is not what the headline on television. No, and number two, like Rahul Ishwar says, there is a strong narrative. CM right now. Mm -hmm. That's what Pinarayi Vijayan is supposed to be a song, strong CM. Mm -hmm. He can control this. See, the, the, the terrible thing is they go in front of parents. Mm -hmm. They go in front of little children. Mm -hmm. And like I said, 56 stabbings. Okay. 36. We have to right. stop this violence. In we have Kano. to stop we it, but to everyone then needs to work and to we stop need to it. Work is and people should stop voting for such parties who are violent. That's okay. what I would ask the but people of Kerala. But every party then also stop tells voting for people. Needs to restrain. Of if course, they have to restrain. Needs this to restrain is they don't people. believe in democracy. Okay. That's the okay. problem. Democracy but is that does not happening? Is there enough political will there to do it before this happens? Or this is just just the statistics that are thrown around. Tragic statistics of youngsters just being killed all in the name of political affiliations of ideology. But thanks very much. Much of this, like the last word on this hasn't been spoken, but we just have to wrap it here on that note. Join us again, same time tomorrow, for a brand new evening. Bye bye.